was so good. Like I, it wasn't shown off earlier because of the way that Syrup was playing was just so good. But Sola is an incredible, incredible player. But we need to keep on going with our winner's final set. It is Web JP up against Syrup and his Steve. Can I tell a story? That has nothing to please, do with Syrup, but do. it has a, it has a. We have the time. <laughs> it has a. Uh, it has something to do with Steve itself. So I played Stefan at his first local, like, ever straight out of quarantine. <laughs> and I, I'm pretty sure it was Stefan. Like, nine times out of it, I'm, like, 100% sure. Um, and he was like, yo, can I get a hand warmer? And I'm like, yeah, bet. Uh, pick Steve, goes in. Uh, I think we were on, like, PS2, and he just up-tilted a couple times, and he's like, all right, I'm ready. And I'm like, oh, I'm losing. <laughs> I'm losing, bro. <laughs> this is... <laughs> This okay. is like during the That's hopeless. Toxic. I love it. <laughs> this is like the hopelessness, like era of like Steve, where it's like Steve is unbeatable. There's <laughs> yeah. no way we beat Steve. But then like now we like progress to a point where it's Steve is beatable. It's just you have to play a very specific way, and yes. that is what Webb is doing right now, right? I mean, we know that Webb had a very unfortunate set versus or set ending versus I believe it was Cindy. <laughs> Oh, well, yes, oh, versus what? Sinji, but wasn't that versus Aquila as well? Oh, Watch versus the Aquila, yeah. Dude, Webb is the king of just taking bad L's and just, like, letting it roll. What was that? Did you see that? Yeah, he jump teleport back to the ledge, but if you're able to do it right, I think you can re even reset your invulnerability. I it's, think that's what he just did. Yeah, it's super nasty. Ew. Okay, so dash attack onto the block, actually going to send Webb off here, but Syrup has lined himself up really well. I love constantly just throwing out the sword hit. It's, it's like, all right, just let me just back off this. But I like also, once again, we talked about how long Anvil stays out, and Dirt Block doesn't stay out long enough, as Webb is going to get that stock, and Ubel is going to tell me why. Th that was, it was just something that it was paying off from the previous set we've been watching web the jab into the down tilt to confirm usually you confirm into up air but the good di from syrup forced the back air yet even better for web it still was able to take out the stock i love you know just we're throwing out up air up tilts and up airs from syrup if you want to jump around you better contest with the damage that steve is providing the reward is on deck with those diamond tools and the boatload of iron that he has yeah, honestly, uh, Syrup's bar is looking really good. I do just want to say, though, I like how Webb is unafraid to play in the corner versus Steve, saying, you know what, like, I'll let you come to me. I know exactly what I want. He is going for this down tilt a lot, but we just want to see just Webb get out of here, right? There's the forward air, but it's still looking pretty even. Gets taken out by a couple of the hits here. Great parry, though, by Zero. No punish, though, onto the grab, but that's a lot of ending frames, man. He wanted the updraft, the tipper down tilt into something like a double jump up air to close out the stock. Instead, he's avoiding these grabs out of the corner, just so comfortable in every scenario. And that's practice. That's pure knowledge, knowing that Needles would beat out Minecart in that scenario when you have enough stacks of them. But now Syrup, he set up the wall, making so that if you're going to close out a stock, you've got to do it vertically until Webb switches the sides. So well spaced, able to constantly maneuver around Syrup and leave him guessing. Look how much swinging that Syrup has been doing throughout this game, just trying to get a straight hit to connect. Below four minutes and still both players have their second stocks ready to go. Syrup looking okay. for the option on the backer, <laughs> but instead it will just be the turnaround F smash. And now Syrup, you were talking about this a little bit earlier, with a great material bar to work with, has a little bit of that minecart hit damage here, but it's not exactly safe to go on ahead and build a new tool just yet. Webb has to find the stock sooner rather than later, right? Steve with Diamond is not exactly what you want to just be fighting against. I appreciate the edge guard attempt, but that's actually going to give Syrup a little bit more time here. Going for the down nair, but it's actually... <laughs> Ubal looks so puzzled next to me. Uh, it's got to be something with the win box, right, Ubal? Yes, absolutely <laughs> was. Uh, it just was surprising to see that affect Steve while Ooh. he was technically grounded on the anvil, but you know, say la vie, we get to see some weird <laughs> things in this <laughs> game that we love to see. And so the anvil comes down, doing so much damage on it to Webb, who is behind the eight ball a little bit, but slowly but steadily whittling, uh, whittling down these raw materials. Plenty of iron on deck. And while that cer amount is certainly scary for the amount of anvils and minecarts we might see syrup throw out, only a couple stone and dirt blocks means the actual like inhibitors to Webb moving around 
aren't really all there unless he's willing to use those iron blocks. Yeah, we saw use of the iron block there and there as well. But Webb once again trying to line up for something here. Needs to punish onto Syrup, but Syrup going to be able to get the aerial out in time as it is going to be Syrup trying to line up the anvil drop here. Webb now just being very so careful with these recoveries and needs to be right, but there it is. It is going to be the up air. It's not going to be enough though because I don't know, but there it is, the bouncing fish. You just don't know, right? You, you just would, never know. You would think, right, a, a Sheik with Rage, you're above the platform by a lot. Steve is over 100. You would think that would do it at least, but it's not actually going to be it. Webb, though, once again, the tenacity on all of his stocks says, you know what, this KO screen doesn't get it, but let me just line up for it again. The air dodge uh, led into the minecart, but instead we're just waiting for the minecart. We're reacting properly, getting the bouncing fish. Webb going up one up. And that's that discipline you were talking about yeah. earlier with Webb when it comes to like his mentality and his play style. Like it's just a go next type of vibe. <laughs> it's like, he, all right, I didn't get it, yeah. but. They're like, all right, well, I'm going to look for the next one. Maybe it's now, maybe it's later, but I'm going to play solid until that victory screen ends with Sheik on the uh, front and center. On there. <laughs> just on there and ready to go. As we go into game number two, small battlefield. I like for uh, A, that we're not on Pokemon Stadium 2 against Steve. Ban that, ban that stage, please. Uh, it is not good. This one, a whole lot more consistent of the materials, but it means that you have less iron to deal with, barely able to get out of there and syrup. Starting off with a little bit of damage on just Putting that TNT there. Can, can we just talk about how Syrup was off stage and the active minecart got two hits? It was just like, yeah, no, stop. Yeah, Not tough. my owner. Still, though. Oh, the run-up jab. Oh! And he missed the tick. It, I think I was yes. about to say, I was about to say that could actually lead into stock here. But here we go. It is going to be Webb, and he's up a lot here. I wanted to talk about this a little bit earlier with Webb's gameplay. The fact that he is so practiced now versus, the, versus this character, which is important why uh, for a lot of regions, even though this may be a little bit of an unliked -like opinion, why having Steve on band is a good thing because yes. some majors have a band, some majors don't. And you being able to fight against this character as well practiced as Webb is here is the key to why it's so important. The up smash not going to do it just yet, but like you said, and like we've been talking about, Webb's tenacity here, just not letting Syrup recover. And he's not letting him build materials either. You get the three iron from uh, stock spawn, but there was no risk at all from Webb going for these deep, aggressive edge guards because there was no minecart. There was no anvil. There was nothing you had to worry about. That minecart there does pick up the stock after trapping Webb, but being up a full stock in this scenario will allows Webb to dictate the tempo of the game, completely control what Syrup has to do and what he has to fish for. And for a character like Sheik, she can just be so hard to hit for someone like Steve who has to commit to some big, big actions in order to try and chase down anyone trying to run away from him. I kind of put Sheik in my little tier of slippery characters. Oh, she's right? a mosquito for she's, sure. She's very slippery, right? Same thing with Mithra, right? Like kind of like slippery, so hard sick. to try to fight around here. But now Syrup holding strong right now, trying to bring back this lead and honestly could potentially do it. Minecart down, but Webb going to recover high. There's a charged diamond F smash, wow. but it's actually not going to be enough. That actually did not kill. That's very I, surprising yeah, here. Yeah, Ford actually. It's like, <laughs> wait. You paid 599 for this character. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, still, though, okay, that, that one is definitely going to KO here. As now Syrup has brought this game back so well. Has not taken too much damage here. I always feel like I'm seeing the same start to every stock, though, Ubel. I'm seeing Syrup put himself behind a wall, web charge up needles, and then him get a lot of the chip damage. And then Syrup seems a little, like, thrown off at that point. I feel like he really does have the timing down pat. But we talked about Web's patience this entire time, and it's still working out for him. Yeah, just mm, totally fine uh -oh. with the, Wow, that was such a late hit to get the up air, but uh, the up tilt rather, but you know that's going to guarantee 60%. Getting out of that empty corner early with the roll from ledge, trying to catch Webb, getting a little bit aggressive, but that forward smash gets properly whiff punished. Let's see if Webb is able to confirm anything out of this corner, but no, the minecart just going to establish us back into our very, very tenuous neutral. The downside of being she here, though, is that you have to contest with so many of these kill moves coming out from Syrup, throwing out PBR bears and just normal back airs alike, refreshing the diamond on his resource, on his tools, and waiting for Webb to make a mistake. The jump call out there from Syrup allows him to move into the win column and take game two.
Yeah, really good stuff from Syrup to stay grounded, right? Stay grounded stay not only center. in just like actual staying grounded, just doing what does best, but also just mentally stay grounded, right? I mean, Webb was up three socks to one, man. Like, it, mm -hmm. it's not easy to just make this comeback, especially versus Webb, but when you're playing a character that quite literally walls off the right side of the stage, it's a little bit easier, right? So Syrup, though, going to even it up 1-1 one, one right now. Uh, going into game number three, still on small battlefield. Yeah, and we're seeing Syrup play a little bit more forward here, trying to get that initial damage going. Oh, the run-up grab. Uh, spot dodge appropriately there from Syrup. Gets a nice 54% right off the jump. Oh, and more even. Are we able to block it off? Yes, we are. The up air off of ledge, a risky gambit on the part of Web there. Could have led to so much damage, but instead, Syrup is able to properly punish Web without his jump and turn it into a massive lead here in this game number three. I have to call it out just because I just thought of it randomly. I feel like Sheik and Steve are like the work smart versus work hard uh, mentalities like personified in Smash, right? Like, I feel like... Uh, Steve is like that work smart character, right? Where you know how exactly to block off a lot of these options coming out from all of your players, literally building up walls, doing what works every single time. And Web is the definition of work hard, right? You have to work hard. You have to find your uh, approaches in every single time. You have to find a way to just consistently get damage. You have to find a way to like evaporate stocks before Steve does. And that's actually a tall, tall, tall order. Yeah, I mean, the... There's a just huge difference in character design across the board, even from a like fun, uh, from just like a baseline level. A lot of Steve's hitboxes are oh, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> that, I mean, hysterical. <laughs> he hit his own pressure plate. That's uh, that's rough. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, sometimes it'd be like that, bro. Sorry, bro. <laughs> The, uh, a lot of Steve's hitboxes are uh, a little bit homogenous oh. to where, like, oh, they all kind of do the same thing. And that's not the same with Sheik, who, like, even just on forward tilt, you have the leg hitbox and the knee hitbox, and you really want the knee hitbox. Oh, oh we, 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 where do you go? Where do you go? <laughs> <laughs> where do you go? The Tell me where to go. <laughs> the big difference of Steve, though, is while the hitboxes are the same, the tools can be different, and those golden tools make quite the difference against eight very, very nimble character. You're able to suddenly keep up with her frame data and turn bad situations into great ones. The double back air does frame trap, but the stock is still not gone, and this stock is at... It's looking really bad here from Webb. Just punched. <laughs> <laughs> <Got him. laughs> See, I, I feel like whenever I cast with you, Bull, just as like a side note, while Webb is still just trying to catch he, this he's stock, doing his he's best. trying to do it, <laughs> we'll be able to find it. You are the logic, I'm the emotion, right? Now. <laughs> I, I'm the pure exhaustion of every like person fighting Steve, trying to get around it. Um, and you're like, okay, well, this is why this is happening, right? Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm like, ooh, ah, it hurts. It does. No, I'm in pain. <laughs> Don't worry. Look at. Okay. It's that's okay. the same. That's the same thing that happened, right? The jump is technically called out by the diamond back air, and uh, uh, Kelvin Steve. saying something very uh, <laughs> non esports into my ear that I'm gonna try not to laugh about too hard. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the thing, right? You're stuck. I want to go back to that uh, clip where it's like a it's iron iron stone, and it's like Web getting hit by the up tilt, and it's yeah. like, what do you do? So what do you do? Technically speaking, Thank every, sec the logic. <laughs> every second up tilt has a parry window if you are brave. To where if, if you are built different. If you are built different and they are holding up tilt, you can parry every second one very consistently. Yes. However, that assumes that Syrup is uh, not thinking and not a good player, which may work against your 1-2-2-2 two, two, two or Steve, but it is not going to work at this level against Syrup, who's A, had gold, which changes the frame data completely, and B, is also ready, able, and willing to mix up his timings and change up his stances at a moment's notice, hence why he's up 2-1 against Web. As... What was that? Forward or into down yeah, smash? Forward, that was gross. Hit stun go bro. I hate things. I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like, so I haven't casted Steve in a long, long time because, first of all, I just haven't. Like, Santa Paws, Steve was legal, but none of them made top eight, I don't believe. And, uh, oh, I saw and last weekend, Steve was banned. So it was like, yeah. I haven't seen this character in so long. And I remember why I like casting Steve and I don't like fighting Steve. Because this character is so 
goofy. A lot of the hitboxes, like you said, like frame data changes based off of the materials. And it's just so goofy, right? Yes. This character just doesn't make sense at times of why things do that. We heard Kelvin say something very non-esports in my ear just a little bit earlier. The DBZ trade doesn't go in the way of WebJP, because why would it when you're fighting Steve? That's more of a Smash Ultimate thing, where hitboxes are, for better or worse, uh, extremely precise. Sorry. Uh, so that's where you see like her hurtbox shifting on characters like Sheik, who are able to curl up in the ball when they do their double jump. Stuff like that can dramatically affect where things are placed and how things just kind of play out for so many characters. Steve, not typically a beneficiary of hurtbox shifting, but absolutely oh. a beneficiary of the like giant and a completely accurate hitboxes because as long as you see and as those uh, tools swing around the back air startup and end frame like they are hitting everywhere and all for that same damage those homogenous hitboxes Ooh. that I was mentioning a little bit earlier all of that is the quote-unquote sweet spot and you just wanted to find any hit of that back air yeah honestly good on syrup though that that's like i think one of the first times that we've really seen like that solid steve string of aerials yeah. coming out from syrup this set um i feel like once again it's back to like the work smart and work hard argument that web is working so hard and syrup is just working smart to try and find just these openings to get something started here but once again web just needs to find a way to get all of his strings going again but syrup making that so difficult here still the great avoiding of the mine yeah, card but under it. That was yeah sick. you gotta find a way to do it but can he get the edge guard here looking for the back here but i love the way that syrup actually just retreated himself by like a like an inch and then was able to punish web for actually going down there with the down air it will be syrup as projected moving on into grand finals as web will now be waiting in the wings of losers finals Definitely not impossible for Webb, but know. you know what? You know the the Steve is out for a reason. Yes, uh, and it's only been up from yeah, Syrup true. for these past few months. Like has been just performing incredibly, incredibly well at so many different uh, brackets. Has wins on basically everybody on the New Jersey PR, uh, including Tweak twice. Yes, like the the only player in the top five. I think he has gone even with is uh leon okay at one one which like shout outs to leon miss Good. him i believe he's in pittsburgh right he now he is right? in pittsburgh yeah he's living his best life in pittsburgh in pittsburgh well he's trying <laughs> in pittsburgh pennsylvania <laughs> Brutal. that's crazy <laughs> yo it's like one of those tweets in uh it's like a beautiful like oh, yeah. landscape I'm in, I'm in a bad place it's, yeah. oh, no it's like a beautiful landscape and it's like patterson new jersey oh. and it's just like a lie <laughs> <laughs> hey man i listen i've been to pittsburgh a hundred times it's not against the people it's just there's nothing to do i the i Steelers went to are there the oh, oh boy Facts. the Steelers. <laughs> <laughs> thank you Ubel. i went to i went Got to pittsburgh boss. for uh pokemon regionals oh right, um, yeah. i will say the nightlife there mid mid Ooh. we spent like an hour and a half trying to find somewhere to like actually you know have a good time mega facts uh so <laughs> thank you, nothing Calvin. against the pittsburgh scene in fact i always give my praise to pittsburgh scene so if anybody wants to come at me don't um <laughs> <laughs> either way That's... we will uh, be resolving uh not lyrics anti-pittsburgh <laughs> Lyric? stance yeah now i'm apparently i'm anti-pittsburgh yeah, anyway you, good on syrup uh we'll be moving into uh hit? grand finals uh going up against one of our three remaining re opponents uh i still believe we're waiting on the winner of c jackal unless Ubel wants to prove me wrong uh, uh but sola is still in there thus far yes yeah, c jackal is still in the works solo waiting on the winner of that uh, of that where he will play in losers semifinals and from there on our path is effectively set Eric. we got the mm -hmm. winner of jackal of c winner of that plays solo winner of that plays web Winner of that plays Syrup to end the New Jersey Smash Circuit and the six months that it's been going on. Six months? Really? Yeah, it started Sheesh. in the summer. Wow. Last that's summer. A, yikes. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's, it's been, been, it's been it's a long been time coming. I mean, like, the and the amount of locals that were a part of it, like, people have been coming out to the finale. I saw uh, JT Prague, who is the runner yeah. of Stargate, 
uh, him and the fuzzy pixel guys have all been here. I, like uh, Peko and uh, BD Bean, like just out here doing their best. I think BD Bean made it into top 16 as well, or in the, that area. Like just so many good players, so many good weeklies, and all of it kind of coalescing into this one circuit and into the finale that you see before you. But we got to hit you with some other ads before we start talking about New Jersey, including the New Jersey Major that is coming up in just a couple of months, featuring so many good players on the ultimate and melee scene from international and down in New Jersey. It is Collision, which you can register for right now at start.gg slash Collision, March 15th through 17th in Parsippany, New Jersey. And you're going to want to register soon because prices are going to start going up uh, if they have not already uh, in the next few days. Yeah, absolutely. But of course, you are here watching the New Jersey Smash Circuit finale. Um, that picture is like low-key coming true with syrup like the fire and the lava block is so sinister my goodness uh but of course we have to give our shout outs to collision of course uh events production content and of course more you got to support the growth everywhere uh on collision series tv that's where you guys are now uh but also on twitter or x and of course on youtube where these vods will be uploaded so make sure you guys go on ahead and give them all of your support like with the Fusion Weeklies happening every single Monday right here in Rahway, New Jersey. You find Smash Ultimate for a singles bracket, a rotating buster side bracket after the uh, after top 24 is decided. A full arcade that you have access to starting at 6 p.m. every single Monday with all the action streamed right here at twitch.tv slash collision series TV. Got to also give some love to House of 3000 over in New York City. Uh, every Wednesday, you can find them at Xeno, one of the longest running locals um, in Tri-State across multiple games. So oh, make yeah. sure you guys go on ahead. Free house on Twitter, so just follow Devin for now. Uh, you guys got to get this <laughs> updated. They got to they gotta um, figure that out. Sorry, yeah. boss. <laughs> <laughs> got to send over the new slide, but make sure you guys uh, throw Devin some love. Are we going to actual ads, or are we... Yep. Oh, we're going to break. All right, break six time. minutes. Oh, my goodness. We have so long. Uh, go See on ahead. Grab you guys. <laughs> grab yourself a water, <laughs> a snack. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the top four of the New Jersey Smash Circuit finale. Said it right the first time. Let's go.
welcome back to the New Jersey Smash Circuit finale. Set it right again. I'm so sick. We are back here in the top four. I'm still Lyric. This is still Ubel. We are still taking you through the ending of this very hype yep. past six months, the finale, all of it coming down to this. Four more uh, sets. If you guys have missed out on kind of the organization chart of how this top four is going to go, we are currently waiting still on the winner of C and Jackal. The winner of that will be fighting Sola. The winner of that will be fighting Webb. And the winner of that will be fighting Syrup. Yeah, so, very check. exciting uh, bracket that we've had. Yeah. Exclamation point bracket, by the way, in order to check out all of the mishappenings that is happening, including some uh, incredible sets that had transpired in the pool section. But Jackal was able to take it over C 3-2, to two, Ooh. knocking out the final New Yorker in this bracket, leading us to uh, something that's happened quite a lot these past few Mondays. Uh, Jackal and Sola, Sola able to consistently find his way into the upper echelons of bracket but jackal is just such a gatekeeper like <laughs> to, to every girl boss gatekeeper yeah. <laughs> gaslighting yeah. i i gotta call it out though P props on solo for man for seed number 12 making it all the way here nice. to fourth uh at least fourth right like it's yeah. definitely not over just yet but as I always like to say, if you're coming off of a hot set into your next set, you're always going to be playing a little bit better. And Sola's had a long time to wait now. So we'll see how this one's going to go. Sola did defeat Pharaoh in a loser's quarters to make it to this point. So now Sola going back up against uh, Jackal here. We'll see.